Okay, Jake. So we did an interview already before, and you said yeah. you went on your mission to... <gasps> Tokyo North Japan. Ah, oh, Tokyo. Yes. On your mission, mm -hmm. you met a man. <laughs> yes, I <did>. did. <laughs> oh yeah, so we were together for a month, and we had met before we were mission companions at a, a zone meeting, Taikai, where they pull a bunch of missionaries together to like meet. Um, and we had met, and we became like fast friends, and we're like enjoying each other's company so much. We were like, oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun if we were companions. So, the very next transfer, if you believe believe in divine intervention, um, the very next transfer, I got put with Elder Harris, and uh, and sent up to Niigata, and I was with him for a month. It was a very intense month. At that time, I couldn't identify that it was like a sexual thing, that it was a homosexual, you know, it was just like a, I was so attracted to who he was and his energy, and we got on so well, and, um, and I just adored him. At that point in my life, I was just like, I just adore him, and I had, you know, I was just so into him, and other people too, that like, but I didn't know that it was like a gay thing, really, you know. There was a lot of wrestling, there was a lot of, <laughs> there was a lot of wrestling, because all that sexual tension. There was a lot of wrestling, there was a lot of cuddling, there was a lot of, like, um, massaging. Um, when we were supposed to be out then doing, which was uh, proselyting, <laughs> we were supposed to be out doing work. Um, yeah. Uh, but never, like, the garments never came off, we never, like, did anything really explicit. You know, it was just all this crazy tension that we didn't know what to do with. Right. And we were so terrified to cross the line. Terrified. And there were times when I would like be like, oh, we need to pray, and I'd just be like crying, and you know, struggling with the whole issue and stuff. So it's like it was apparent what was going on. Right. You both knew it was impossible to fight. Right. So it was like you're married. Yeah. Like what? I it's guess. It's like you're married in a way. I mean, for that's how I was. I mean, I, there were two companions I had that I had super crushes on. Mm. They were straight, but I mean, it's like you're married. You're living oh, together, yeah, sleeping in the same room. You're not supposed to be without in out of praying, each sight. having spiritual experiences. Right, you're, and you're just like, together. And you, you love this person. You yeah, tell them, you, <laughs> you tell them, you tell them every day. You're like, I love you. Yeah. You know, you read your scriptures together and right. all and that you, stuff. You're, you're with each other all the time, and you know, you have something that this is, is Elder Harris. Yeah. His name's Justin. <laughs> It, but you do. I mean, there's kind of a, a, a marriage thing in that there's there's something there keeping you together besides yourselves just making that decision. Yeah. Right. You know, that's kind of a not spoken thing. I mean, yeah. you're you're assigned to each other. And but you find yourself in the situation. It's not. You're like, oh, how did yeah. I end up yeah. here? Yeah. I mean, you don't choose it. No. Yeah. I mean, if we could have chosen no, companions, we would have chosen each other. Well, yeah. <laughs> We would have chosen each other, you know, we got along really well, but we didn't choose that, and you know, it's kind of similar to that. I was a full year behind him, right. and uh, and he went home and ended up staying with my parents in Laguna Beach, in my house, in my bed, like yes. for three days or something. Something like that, yeah. yeah. So stay with my parents, of course, my parents are just like, oh, Elder Harris, you know, Jake's mission companion, we love you so much, and we embrace you, and put, you know, take you under our wing, and, <laughs> and my mom is so great that way, she just is that way with everybody anyway, if you all know Judy. Um, and uh, he stayed with me, or in my house, and then you go ahead and tell this next piece, since this is where it happened to you, oh, and I was still on my mission, trying yes. to focus and trying to be good. Yeah, so at the point that I came, so I, after I left Japan, I loved it there, so I decided to go back and teach English and save money for squad. Earn more money teaching English than I could working at some schlubby minimum wage job back home. So I decided to go back to the United States. So Jake knew that before I left. He was like, oh, you have to meet my parents, you have to go stay with them. So I did. They're fantastic, wonderful people, had a great time. And um, his mom and I went shopping and she bought all of this American stuff for Jake because she knew I was going to see him. It's candy, food, all these different things. Like Loaded up my, su my suitcases with like 800 pounds of stuff for Jake. <laughs> so I leave, I get to Japan. First thing I need to do is unload all of this stuff from my luggage because I couldn't take it with me. And I was, you were in Tokyo somewhere. I think. Was I in Chiba? I was in Chiba by that point. You were in Chiba and I was going up to Nagano. Yes. So that makes we sense arranged, to <laughs> right. We, it was very far away from each other. So we arranged to meet. Um, he had three other elders with him, so I remember I went with this suitcase full of stuff. I was so excited to see him. I was kind of getting out of that missionary mind set and just kind of getting over some of those fears, anxieties, and the guilt and everything. I think it was 
you know, obviously less than when you're on a mission. I think that you had that more inherently with who you are mm. than I did I was, yeah. as well. Yeah. So we're kind of getting further away from each other emotionally, I think, as far as the guilt and all that kind of stuff goes. So I see him, I'm all excited to see him. So I just adore Jake. And I give him all this stuff and he's just completely indifferent to me is the way that I felt. But I mean, obviously he's very focused on mission and all those kinds of things. So <laughs> it kind of broke my heart a little bit. Oh. I was crushed. Oh. I was wanting this big, excited Jake to see me and, and this big exchange and there wasn't. Um, which and obviously you're like, I, I just schlepped 800 pounds of shit all the way over here from for California. you. And you snub me. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I totally understand where it would come Ooh. from, but... So that was then the last time that we saw each other mm -hmm. for 17 years. And over that period, I mean, I, all, I thought about Jake all the time. And I would bring him up to John, who was my partner for eight years. I brought... Jake up to him many times because I mean he was so important to me. He was like kind of the first person I felt like I connected or bonded with um, as another man, and so he was always that person to me. And so I wanted to be able to I don't know it was kind of this I wanted to make sure he was okay, and I wanted to know where he was. I had this fear that you know he was married and in this miserable relationship that he you know was being someone other than who he was, and that really concerned me. I searched on Facebook, didn't ever find him, and then I was actually talking to a guy that I was dating, Brendan, mm. and we started talking about you again. <laughs> Anyone that I ever dated knew I'm about so you. I'm so popular. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, you know, you really should go and just try and find him on Facebook again. So I did, and there was actually two profiles that came up. The one that he had, he had like this little dog in his lap, and it was kind of far away from the dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then another one, someone had like, I don't know, it was hard to tell, and some of the other things kind of fit to me. So I sent an email, hey, do you happen to be? If so, this is who I am. And um, he wrote back, he's like, And I lost my oh shit. Oh my god, Harris Choto. <laughs> I totally lost my shit. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. So then we were in contact that way. Mm -hmm. I think, did we talk on the phone? Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Well, so you were down in DC with DC. partner, and mm -hmm. then you would come up and visit, and you stayed in my bed, and we didn't do anything because I was honoring your relationship. That's right, that's right. That was when I was with Brendan. No, you were with Christian. Was it Christian? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. Um, and, mm -hmm. uh, and we would hang out, and we went out in the city a couple times, mm -hmm. um, and then now you almost live here! <laughs> <laughs> almost! Yeah, so the first time we saw each other in person, though, was. No. With my sister yes. and my brother. Oh my gosh. And their spouse. What I, do you know an Italian restaurant they want to go to? We can have dinner. This is the first time I see this guy in 17 years and I have to like sit at this awkward Mormon table <laughs> of like people that I don't know nobody at the table and like I want to catch up with them and like be a real person and talk like as we would talk, but I can't because they're ordering like they want to know if there's like root beer on the menu at the yeah, time. We're wanting to have a cocktail, <laughs> you know? So we did. I mean, after that, we went, we went across the street to. We did. They, they decided they weren't up for a late night, and yeah. so I took and got them back to the hotel and everything back. And then we got together and we were able to we have to go for a cocktail. Let's go. Yeah. And then we caught up. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then it was kind of the the rest was history. I mean, we came back here yeah. a couple times. We yeah. always get together. Yep. And so. I have it. <laughs> and then I spent three weeks here know, right? with him. We were roomies for three weeks. Yes, he helped me paint my apartment, and yeah. he's been like my gay bestie. Totally. <laughs> so after all that, like, did you ever kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, we, yeah, we're yes. able to. Um, we have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> now, but on maybe we're not we're not partners. We're not right. together. Like it's just actually. It's not like I think one of those some other people had been like. Oh my gosh, I want you to marry him. And at one point when he first came back in my life, I was like, oh my gosh, I do too. Um, but then like, and other people were, were thinking that like, well, you've got Justin back in your life now. So I'm like, but that's not who we are. That's not, it, our, I just don't believe that's ever who we will be. Our energy is not that, that's not who we are. But we get on like the best of But you're destined to be lifelong friends. Absolutely. Absolutely. 